Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Guys, this time we have the Han Solo uh, Land Speeder based off the new Solo movie. Um, we got three minifigures, 345 pieces, and it's number 75209. Here's the back of the box. Uh, honestly, this set looks fantastic. I can't wait to go in and build this. This Land Speeder, we see it from the trailers of the movie. I'm sure it'll uh, be at the beginning of the Solo movie, but I'm very excited uh, to open this up. So without ado, let's go ahead and jump into this review right now. Okay guys, jumping into this review. As always, we start off with the minifigures. Uh, three technical mini minifigures, if you count the dog. <laughs> Um, so anyhow, we'll start off with Solo himself, uh, the new actor, uh, Alden Enra. I don't even know how to say his last name, um, but uh, it's his version, the new actor, new version of, of Han Solo. Um, new prints on him, front and back, looks great. Uh, more groggy look, it's definitely a new look for Han Solo, double-sided face. Uh, same uh, hair that we've gotten on so uh, Han Solo in previous sets, that isn't new. Next, we have Kira here. She's also new. She's played by uh, Game of Thrones actor Amelia Clark uh, in the movie. Uh, I love the look of her. The torso, what's interesting about it is it's not gray. It's actually like this uh, very subtle, like aluminum type of color, like a very burnt, uh, muted uh, aluminum, like chrome, like I guess you could say. Um, new hair piece for her. I'm not sure if it's been in other sets. I believe it has. Double sided face as always. She has a pistol, both Han and. Uh, and Kira have a, a pistol and here as you can see is the Karelian dog um, very interesting so I guess they're dogs from Karelia uh, if you don't know what Karelia is it's a pretty well known uh, planet in Star Wars and now we have the actual uh, speeder bike land speeder yeah um, it's it's dark blue which I think is fantastic I think the dark blue look on it looks great um, it's got surprising it's got a surprising amount of a detail. Uh, the the inner detail, the you know where the where they sit down is really nice. I like the tan. Um, the details on the side are nice. Here you can see what the what the land speeder looks like with the uh, figures in it, and you can see there's like engine detail, and you can kind of compare you know the Karelian dog next to it. it, it it's a big vehicle. Um, it, it's a good size for what it is, and it, it matches what we see in the Han Solo trailer. Has wheels on it, so you know you can uh, play around with that as you as you may. Um, yeah, I, I like the details. The wheels on the bottom are actually kind of interesting. I'll show that here in just a minute. Uh, the details on the back are pretty good. Uh, it does have those flick fire missile? They're not even the flick fire missiles. They're the stud, like uh, I got the spring loaded launcher missiles i believe um not a fan of them i feel like you're gonna i really feel like you can hit somebody's eye with those i don't know like i'm always like scared because those things like literally fly across the room like and they like are not soft but yeah the wheels on it are super nice it makes the land speeder a lot of fun to play with i enjoy playing with it as you can kind of see um and then the last kind of like i guess the feature of this set is how the engine part opens up and the uh engine like compartment has a wrench i guess maybe they fix it in the movie maybe not um I, I don't know why they make this the feature but also the engine itself comes out that is a feature in this set so i guess it has significance in the movie i'm guessing um again looking at that detail on the side it's great looks nice has that uh, windshield I, I honestly like the look of the land speeder like it, it, it's an interesting it's not the same on either side it's it's not a bland design in a way it is in a way it isn't and that's part of the reason why I like it so much there's those wheels I was talking about earlier um, it's pretty actually ingenious design that Lego's come up with better designs than I've seen in pre prior uh, sets where they have to have uh, wheels and again the spring-loaded launcher you get an extra one of those red uh, laser things uh, if, if you're wondering there's some extra parts if you were curious and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the review um, I know I did I love the set um, not sure if you need it it's up to you and that's gonna be it guys so we have a great one for the day bye bye